Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nook upgraded. As you can see, Nook and Go become, became Nookway, a uh, ripoff of a uh, store chain in Canada called Safeway. So as you can see, he's added on quite a bit. He has a row in the back, three sets of clothing, and he has three aisles here. And he's upped his wallpaper and rugs too, so now you have a better chance of getting the flooring and the walls you want. So yeah, that's pretty awesome that he upgraded there. Updates have been rather slow lately, which I apologize for, but there hasn't really been a lot going on in Animal Crossing, and yeah, it's frankly recording everything, this stuff every single day and then having to post it every day will be just boring. Oh, there's a classic painting I have there. I can show you guys what to do with that. I don't have my shovel, damn it. But still, it's like I was thinking about doing that every single day, like posting 15 minutes of gameplay or whatever, but quite frankly, I was just doing the same stuff over and over again, and I'll just show you guys game mechanics as they happen. I'll show you guys the painting, though. So, like, yeah, as you know, there's four sections in the museum. There is fish, uh, fossils, paintings, and insects. And I showed you guys the fish section and the fossil section. I show you guys every other time. I'm almost on the fossil section. But the two I have not showed you are the paintings and the insects, because I have neither of those. But now I can show you the painting section. My fossil section's almost complete, actually, now. I think I just need, like, the body of, like, the elasmosaur and a couple wings for the pterodactyl. Nothing else to donate. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just like every other ones of any of the other sections in the museum. You have, like, the little plaques that say who donated it. You have the mounting devices. That's basically it for the painting section. It's kind of boring in comparison to, say, the fishing section or the insect, insect sections. Like, those ones are pretty cool because, um, I don't know, I like the atmosphere of the fishing, of the fish section, and the insect ones, do they actually kind of jump around where they are? I'll show you that when I actually catch a bug, but as you can see, it's winter and there's not many that many bugs actually out. I believe spring's supposed to kick in towards the end of this month here in February. The trees will start becoming greener. Ooh, Gracie's in town. Now, a couple days ago, um, I actually asked him if there was any going on, and yeah, here he is talking about the talking about what he was talking about a couple days ago, about the bust illegal parking, or parkers. And it ties into Gracie. Now, Gracie is a giraffe that kind of pulls into town a couple times a month, and she's like a Hollywood superstar. Actually, no, wait, actually, a, a more adequate description would be she's kind of like Paris Hilton. And, you know, it's like she's a trendsetter. She has, like, her own clothing line, I believe, or, like, you know, her own clothing brand, and if you wash your car, and I don't know how well you have to do, I have never actually done an adequate job for her to the point where she gives me a Gracie brand original, but, like, I always do a so-so job, but, you know, if you do a, no matter how good you do, she'll give you some clothing, I believe. Nothing in there. Where is she? She'll be somewhere around here. C1. B1. She'll be tucked right up in here. Hopefully she gets me something kind of nice. Cause I'm, oh, there she is. Cause I'm kind of getting tired of this yellow. Yeah, see? She's Paris Hilton. <laughs> I love her dance. 
Now that I look at it, look at her closely like this, I don't think she's actually wearing pants. I think that's just her natural giraffe markings. I say that because it looks like she's wearing high heels, but there's no pant line there, so... <laughs> Crazy is not wearing pants. I love my little hick town. Yeah, Gracie's above that shit. Get on scrubbing that car. Less c talky, more car washy. Wax on, wax off, bitches. I like that all leather- all- not leather interior, all leopard print interior. <laughs> it's so, like, inappropriately fitting for this game. It was an alright job. Eh, good enough. And I'm huffing and puffing. <laughs> I like their backhanded insults. <laughs> that car shines more than the skin of Edward Cullen. Oh, it's so bad. I think I'll keep the mustard yellow paw print attire for now. A very appropriately inappropriate choice, I guess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode. I'll see you next time. Stay classy.